Hi, welcome to another episode of Getting Personal with Dr. Paul. So you can get to know me better as a man and not just as a doctor. I thought today I would talk about my kids. So many of you know I have 10 children. I sometimes say it depends how I'm counting because I get my kids in different ways. But I consider myself as a dad to 10 children. Uh, it started off, you know, with my first marriage, I adopted a child. Her name's Natalie. And uh, then I had a, a happily remarried for 20 some years with three biological sons. And in the course of uh, middle school era, we added another child uh, who just needed a safe place to be. And so we were five. And then just total shock. I have a 43 year old, had a 43 year old sister, uh, one of my African sisters. That's another story how I grew up in Africa. My family adopted some kids. Some of my siblings are African. Passed away and orphaned four children. So we went from five to nine, pretty much in that year. And then we brought one other child from Zimbabwe to go to college, so that made 10. So 10 kids is, uh, is quite, a, quite a number. We had one year with eight kids here in the family. Every day felt like a family reunion. One summer with nine kids. And of course now we're down to uh, three at the moment. Uh, it's getting pretty easy. So let's go over them oldest to youngest, starting with Rufaro. She just turned 30, lives in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And she's actually applying to medical school this year. So that's pretty exciting. I wasn't sure I was gonna get uh, any of my kids to sort of follow Pop's footsteps. But, um, you know, I'm pretty hopeful that, that that's going to happen for her. Next after Rufaro comes Natalie. Natalie was my first child, the first baby I held in my arms. And, um, you know, I had Natalie when I was in residency to become a pediatrician. So I graduated from medical school. And uh, that poor child, you know, I would come off of a 36-hour shift, totally sleep deprived and have to take care of her because my wife then was also an intern and off for a 36 hour shift. So um, she spent a lot of time in, in um, battery operated swings. I was right there, uh, you know, but um, it, it was pretty tough, but uh, oh, how adorable to have that very first child. Natalie's now 27. So Natalie is going to school in Hollywood, working her way into the entertainment industry and just loving it. Natalie has a beautiful son, Gavin, my only grandchild and love spending time any chance I get. She's down in Hollywood and I'm here in Portland, Oregon. Next child is Aja who joined us in middle school and Aja was an employee of mine for the longest time, almost 10 years as a receptionist and uh, has now branched out into starting her own business in the beauty field. Um, it's been a real blessing to our family. Uh, Aja is also 27 as is my next child, my first biological child, Noah, who you may have met. He's the producer of, oh, speaking of Noah, there he is, producer of all of these Ask Your Pediatrician shows and quite the comedian. You may have to, you may have to visit his channel as well, but maybe you may not want to do that. It's uh, provocative at times, uh, but, but um, really going places in this film industry and, and YouTube in particular. My next child is Tare Merezwa, we call him Tari, who is 26. And Tari also worked for me. He works in um, the elder care industry. He was assistant manager at my detox clinic. He's uh, working as a cell tower climber. He's getting back into college at this point. Um, got a lot going on and uh, also interested in, in film. Uh, lots going on there. My next child is Temba, his brother, who is 20, yikes, 23. Temba is currently uh, working on jobs, school, very successful in football and was always very fit. He came to us when he was 12 and I'm telling you, I wouldn't have arm wrestled him even then. Uh, super, super fit. Uh, I would say that would be uh, definitely a, a huge plus for Temba. Next child is Zanel, we call her Zani and she is in her final year, entering about her final year at Portland State University, uh, majoring in communication and business with a minor, a couple minors. She has 
finished an internship at Sesame Street. She's landed an internship both with um, uh, Anderson Cooper for this next summer and has been invited to join Oprah at Harpo. So um, she has big, big dreams and uh, seems to be fast moving towards those dreams of working in, in media. But her real heart is to empower women and especially children, for example, from Africa, girls in particular who just don't have opportunity uh, in the arena of education. Next is Cheeto. Uh, Cheeto came over, uh, I took most of my family back to Zimbabwe a few years ago and we were in a village at the heart of Zimbabwe and uh, one of the pastors there said, uh, Dr. Paul, um, I've got this young lady you've just got to meet. And so we met her here in the middle of Africa and she showed us her portfolio of her grades and her schoolwork. She was a musician, she was an actress, and super student. I mean, at age, I think she was 15, almost 15 at the time, she was almost done with high school. And um, she has not let us down. We were able to bring her over, give her a room in our home. She's been a blessing to our lives, is also at Portland State, and you know, between music and communication and business, She's just taking off and going places and has been a real fun addition to our family. Uh, next is Tucker, one of my biological sons, middle son. Tucker's back in college at this point. He's working at the, uh, at the organization that provides food at the uh, Blazers, our local um, basketball team that's playing right now in the background. Tucker is my one child as a baby. He would look so intently into you, we knew we had a deep soul there, and in fact, there, there is a deep wisdom in that young man, and uh, it's fun to see him blossoming at this point. Last but not least is Luke. Now, interesting enough, uh, you know, I had three biological sons, right? Noah, Tucker, and then Luke. And my wife was so intent on having a girl that she wouldn't even entertain the idea of naming any other child. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's Luke. It's Luke. So, so you get to see Luke, because uh, he happens to be here. All right. Go away. So uh, Luke is, is <laughs> Luke is a is a ball player. He's point guard for uh, Wilson High School's team, and uh, fun to watch. He's he's got the basketball thing going on for sure, and and, and a hardworking, good student as well. So I'm really blessed that to you know when you've raised a lot of children and you get as old as I am. Uh, it's it's pretty nice to have it end on a security on, on an ease note. Get out of uh, here. Uh oh. Security. So, thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Paul, and uh, that was a bit long-winded, but you got to have a brief introduction to my family.